smells like rabid season here on the Switch. As we approach the launch of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, we've got brand new info and impressions and all sorts of awesomeness as we recall the recent secret event. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Wars. Jake and Gabe are here. We sent the adventurous Gabe off on a mission to find out more about the upcoming Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. He searched far and wide and found himself at a Ubisoft studio where he played a boatload of uh, uh, freaking... Uh, uh, what, what do rabbits live in? Rabbit pens? Rabbit... Hole? Cage, cages? I don't know. Den? No. Rabbit den? A den full of new gameplay. And burrow. got to Rabbit see burrow. A, a, a burrow. <laughs> a burrow of beautiful new content. And we are here to tell you all about it. Close to three hours of gameplay, actually. So <clears throat> That's a sizable chunk for a, a, a pre-release event. Yes, I got to play the single player, got to play the co-op challenge mode, uh, and I got to play a uh, brand new world that we hadn't seen before. Um, uh, spooky Trails. It, 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 it's very, very cool. But, um, you know, we, we made the, the ten, things, uh, 10 new things to be excited about, so you guys should definitely check that video out. And if you want to see the new world, we do have a gameplay of that as well. Um, but... I think this is just more overall thoughts. Zach, I am so, so, so excited for this game. I was the person that said, hey, I think I'm more excited for uh, Mario Rabbids and Splatoon 2. And Splatoon 2 has proven to be, like, very, very good. I love that game. I I've played, like, 40 hours of it at this point, something like that. But Mario Rabbids is, is more my kind of game. It's single player, so I'm not going to have to worry about being terrible at multiplayer. And uh, I, I like the nice little story elements that they have going on. There's a lot there. Very, very cool. I'm super glad to hear that. I actually texted you uh, the morning of the event, and I was like, please, I got to know, does it live up to expectations, or is it a disappointment? Because we came away from E3 incredibly excited. You know, seeing Miyamoto and Yves Guimau on stage was a fantastic moment. Davi Day just dripping those tears was legendary. And we loved the foundation and the overall gameplay mechanics of Mario Plus Rabbids, but we were concerned about some things, including variety, difficulty, size, and scope. So why don't we start there and you kind of kind of give them a little more detail on what you told me after playing in terms of how this game really does uh, flush itself out into a worthy, you know, full adventure. Alright, so to start off with the difficulty, like it, it, it is more challenging. I said in the other video we made, like, this, you know, obviously, it's not Dark Souls. It's still Mario plus Rabbids. Like, our, like it, it's, an, it's a strategy game that's probably catered to a younger audience. But this isn't, like, anywhere near as easy as it was uh, during E3. Uh, the battle arenas do get bigger. There's, like, more, like, branching paths. Uh, the enemies, uh, the AI, like, seems to me like it's, like, improved. Like, I mean, improved is the wrong word because like, we never really, like, experienced it. Right. We were told that the section that we played at E3 isn't even in the game. That that's just, like, an E3 section that they made. So, right. So I was pleasantly surprised by that. Um, so there's obviously, like, more nuance. We had, like, more modes. We had the ability to uh, play with the entire skill tree once we got to the uh, third world. Um, so difficulty, it, it, it's not as easy. There were people dying this time. Um, that's great to hear. Yeah, I, I never died because I'm just cool like that. But, you know, th there were uh, more multiple people that, that were dying. And uh, if you've played XCOM um, or other strategy games like this before, you're going to feel, like, more familiar with it. And, and you'll be okay. But for someone that this is the first uh, strategy game, the game does ease you in. It's going to start off easy the way we played at E3. And as you continue and you have the ability to select party members and, like I said, the skill tree, once you get into that, uh, you can chain, like, insane combos uh in one move so th there is a lot there the ai like i said does seem to be smarter to me there are like more enemy types um in the boo world like just aesthetically the rabbits have like uh, halloween costumes they'll have like a pumpkin on their head while wearing that or they'll have like a knight's <laughs> outfit like cool little things like that that are just more like aesthetic and theme wise but they also seem like their ai is uh much i don't know if smarter is the word or if they have like more. well just expand it's not like expanded behaviors like they were you know doing uh more complex routines and things besides just like 
coming at you and shooting. Yeah, and uh, we have seen this in the trailer, but there are like certain enemies with like giant like uh, stone shields, uh, so you have to go around them. Like you have to position yourself in order to even be able to hit them. Uh, there are right. other enemy types where you uh, shoot at them and they instantly like rush you and like close the gap. So then like they go in for like a giant melee attack. So you know there is more strategy involved. Like it, it's definitely not as easy, and I can like confidently say that uh, scope wise. That, that that's my only concern at this point. I'm happy with with the with the difficulty at, at where I played it. I'm fine with that. Just four worlds. I don't. The worlds are pretty big, like long, mm -hmm. big. Not, not as in like big open world. That's not what I mean. But like they're long. They're, they're multiple chapters, like up to like nine chapters in in world three, I believe, something like that. Okay. So um, th th there's still I think a decent amount there. Um, my only concern is how short is the game if it's four worlds? Or, that That's my only thing. I don't know. Um, right, th yeah. And overall length, they didn't give you a sense of an hour count? Well, th they've said that before. Like, they've said, like, 14 to 17 hours, I believe, something like that. Uh, they didn't mention it at this event at all, so that's not fresh in my mind. But they did say it was, like, over 10 hours. Yeah, yeah. I believe I've heard even 20 before. Yeah, yeah well, plus, um, plus there's the, the co-op missions that was introduced to Gabe as well, so there's more content than just, and there's replayability, so. Yeah, tell us about that. How did that factor in, and, and did it feel any different than the main campaign, or just sort of battles pulled out from, you know, the storyline? Well, it, it's different just in the fact that there's even an extra character out there, instead of just the three, now there's four characters, because uh, you, oh. you have to play single Joy-Con. Oh, I don't know, have to. That's the way we played it. Uh, we, played, right. we played single Joy-Con, and... And um, let's say it's me and you, Zach. I have a team of two. You have a team of two. Uh, we cannot okay. we cannot pick the same character. So uh, each character does have like his own like unique traits. Uh, like Rabbit Peach, for instance, she's the healer. Uh, Luigi's like the sniper. Um, and, uh, Yoshi, he's like the bomb guy, and um, Mario's like the overall. So um, you select oh the very cool thing that i that i almost forgot to mention in the last video we snuck it in there a little bit later but there's difficulty levels for the co-op challenges there's 18 of them in total uh they take okay. they take assets from the world so they're not like completely new environments but hmm. they are like completely separate uh they, they have their own separate like save file or they're, they're in a separate like menu so um it's not like you can jump in and play the story together but they have easy difficulty, normal difficulty, and hard difficulty for each of the co-op challenges. Hard has to be unlocked. I don't know if you unlock it by just playing normal and then you can get into hard, or if you have to beat them all in normal and then you unlock hard. I don't know how that works because like we weren't like allowed to like mess around too much with that. But sure. but you do have to unlock the hard uh, difficulty, and obviously the higher the difficulty you play in, the better rewards you get. Um, just like in the game. Well, there's no difficulty. Now, so no difficulty in the game. Uh, I want to be. They, they were very clear about that. There's no difficulty. So there is an easy mode, though. Yes, there is an easy mode. But um, playing in that easy mode automatically disqualifies you from getting that perfect rating during your battles. And that's what I was referring to, to the ratings. Um, you, you get a perfect rating in battles in, in the regular story mode. You get more coins. So that, that, that's what I meant by better rewards. But the co-op thing, gotcha. it, 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 it's, it's really fun. My, my only thing was, and, and this is just exclusive to an event. Like, no one is going to have this problem. Uh, the fact that I didn't really know the person that I was talking to. I knew other people in the room. I wish I would have played with someone I knew. Like, mm -hmm. but you know, they were sitting a little further away, so I couldn't just like say, "Hey, come play this with me." Um, if I was playing with somebody I knew, I would have been much more comfortable. I felt like a little bit like I don't know, because this guy wanted like he he was like so quick, and I'm not as quick. I, I want to like take my time a little bit, and I felt like I was holding him back, like things like that. How how does that work? Are there timers, or is it all just kind of? No, it's I mean, it's still turn based. Uh, my team gets a move um, to move, and then your team gets to move. We can switch at, at, at any point. At any point, like if I'm done moving, I just switch because uh, there's a button that says uh, switch, um, and then you get to switch to either the enemies, like say, hey, you know, it's not our turn anymore, or I can switch to you. And now you're gotcha. now you're controlling your two characters, and you have uh, your full move set. You have. Uh, access to everything uh playing with the single joy con was a little weird just because the camera like that you control with the uh, uh right stick um mm -hmm. like that you don't have that on a single joy con but they right. they do have a way to move the camera uh, uh with a single joy con it's not like as intuitive but i forgot what button was it's, it's a button press it's nothing complicated um but yeah i, I actually like the co-op quite a bit and I would love to play the, the hard difficulties. We played on normal. Uh, we did two of them. The first one we finished. The second one we didn't finish, but not because we couldn't finish it. It's just that we ran out of time. 
Um, now, in, in terms of size, were they akin to the bigger battles or the smaller battles? Because even in the demo we played at E3, we saw a variety of like battles that took 30 seconds and battles that took, you know, three, four, five minutes. Oh, no, no, no. This definitely took us a, a, a little longer. Um, it, okay, it, good. Yeah, it, it might have even taken us 15 to 20 minutes for one of them. Oh, wow. Um, so it was a pretty sizable battlefield. Yeah, the, the ch- for, for that specific uh, co-op challenge, the goal was to defeat 14 enemies. Like, 14, oh, wow. four, okay. 14 is a lot. And they don't, they're not all spawned at the same time. It's not like uh, we finish our turn and then we have to wait for 14 enemies to attack us. That's not what's happening. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, they, like they, they come in, like, in, like, small little waves. Like, they'll, they'll spawn. But, um, you know, spacing, very important. Like, I found on the second challenge that I did, I found myself uh, not stuck in an area, but I went the wrong way, basically. Because there was one enemy in one direction. Everybody else was another. So I took uh, Luigi over there and then I ended up with Luigi just stranded in this one area. I mean, you could still, I could have still moved him or whatever. It would just would have taken hmm. me like a, a few turns to get to where the other enemies were. And by the time I would have got there, they were already going to be dead anyways because of the other. Right. Yeah. Um, but it, it's really fun. I, I can see myself having a ton of fun with that. It's not online. I wish it was. That, that, okay, so it's local only. Yeah, lo- is, is there is it local like LAN or just legit one console, uh, w- single console? I, I played it on one console. They didn't give us any details on that, but they did say there, there, okay. there's no online. It's local. Uh, but gotcha. I feel like 18 is a pretty good number. So if, if like on the low end, right, the story stuff is eight hours. Again, on the low end, I don't think it's eight hours. I, th- I think it's at, right. at, at least ten. You're just taking a guess yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Stab at it, yeah. Yeah, so let's say 8 to 10 hours and then, like, another, like, 4 or 5 hours on, on, on the co-op stuff. I'm, I'm totally happy with that. Yeah, do you for know, sure. Do you know what, like, level out of 18 you play in the co-op? Because you have to unlock the co-op missions as you play along, so I'm assuming they get more difficult as you progress throughout the game. So do you know which ones you played or no? Yeah, I, I, I can look that up very quickly. So for the co-op, what I did end up playing uh, was the Ancient Gardens. They called it like a campaign recap. It says, Guarding Party of Doom. Don't be fooled by the sunny skies and rolling greens. The corrupt uh, rabbits have regrouped since you were last year. Uh, time to pull the weeds. So, and then uh, you get to pick the, the difficulty. Just doing some good old gardening. Yeah. Uh, so some landscaping in, in on the landscape switch. Yeah, so... Uh, 14 enemies on that one, like I said. Uh, it, that's one of the earlier ones um, to answer your question. Uh, Jake, uh, it might even be the yeah, first. So they they could get m- like much harder and much bigger than the 15, 20 minutes. They could be you know more like the boss battles where they take up to like you know forty five minutes or an hour. Gotcha. And as we talk about just different areas, I know one thing that we had discussed back at E three, and Jake was particularly interested in was like how much of this game is you know the the, the rabbits influencing the Mushroom Kingdom versus the Mushroom Kingdom influencing rabbits. How much Nintendo? Uh, fan service, how much, how many references, what kind of variety was there in terms of that now that you've seen a whole bunch of different maps and, and technically worlds? Well, you know, th- th- this is the, the stuff I'm a little bit more iffy about talking about because, like, the coolest stuff I can't talk about. But right. I will say that there are, like, plenty of surprises for, like, Nintendo fans. Like, okay, cool. th- there is a lot of fan service. Like, I don't, rab- I don't know if there's rabbit fan service. Like, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not familiar enough with the rabbits. But uh, this is definitely the rabbits, like, having, uh, like, their fun with Nintendo and not the other way around. Th- there's a lot here. Uh, there, uh, There's a very particular section that, again, I can't speak about. But it's going to have people just smiling. It's going to be hilarious. Um, and, and, like, that, that was the other thing. Like, I, I, I'm a 27-year-old man, and I genuinely laughed. Like at some of this stuff, that's awesome. Like it, 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 like it is funny. Like there's, there's so much charm here, and like Jake was very apprehensive about the rabbits, and a lot of people are, but I think they're doing a good job with it. I, I think the fact that uh, it, it's a little bit more of a quote unquote hardcore game um, probably means that there's like an older audience, which means that they can do like a lot more of these like little jokes. Uh, so they're getting away with that. I love the charm of the game personally. Um, well, so, and so we kind of what I've seen like from the footage so far, the new world and, and what we played at E3 is it seems like they more so than having it set in one world and bringing elements from a di- the other into it, they kind of just created their own little worlds um, and then brought assets of both into it. So it's kind of just like a big crock pot of mixture soup of both of them, as opposed to like one heavily being the main focus and then bringing elements of them uh, of the other in. It's like that they created new sort of more generic like grassy area spooky area ice area sand area and then put elements of both into it yeah that's cool 
I mean, I was just going to briefly ask, you know, like you mentioned that this is a more hardcore game. At first, we thought maybe it would be sort of like a, you know, players, gamers first XCOM. Did you still get that sense or do you think that, you know, this is going to appeal more to a strategy gamer crowd specifically? It, it, it's difficult to compare it to like XCOM, like because XCOM gets like so into the weeds with the strategy stuff. Like there's so right. like there's permadeath. Like there's there's a lot. You know there's armor, there's stuff that isn't in this game. So it, it's not quite on the level of XCOM. And, and you know, do I think this is baby's first XCOM? You know, probably. That's that's a safe thing to say. I would say, but there's still there's still challenge here, and and, and I think that's a thing that shouldn't be like lost. Um, I think if you're a fan of Exxon, you'll like this. If if you have the 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 mood for it, I, I guess because you know the rabbits are you know the rabbits. So, I personally have gotten over it completely. I like it a lot, um, and honestly, I don't see what's wrong with being a baby's first XCOM, even though I don't think that's. I mean, well, and and you're saying that the difficulty does definitely increase at a nice pace as you move through. So maybe it is more welcoming given the the theme and the subject material but then it does sound like it gets pretty intense with long lasting battles big maps smart ai uh, and a lot of options for, to yeah. for you to use amongst your eight characters for sure i guess the only like thing i want to make very clear is like hey no permadeath here there's no like armor sets or you're, you're, like, sure yeah there's stats to like weapons and you have your skill tree but that's about as far as that goes i mean uh, it's you what notice- you expect of, of if you said like xcom type gameplay but with mario and rabbit characters like you can't you wouldn't think that there'd be permadeath with yoshi you know what i mean yeah 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 fair play did did you notice um any variety amongst the weapons amongst the different equipables i did feel like at e3 when i looked at the, some that were available there weren't a whole lot of differences it seemed very um low-key did, did that change well yes because some of them like have like different like status effects when you're uh, aiming uh, at a uh, enemy It'll give you, like, a percentage of chance to hit, and then on the side of that, it has a percentage of, like, the likelihood that the effect will take place. Like, bounce, for instance. Um, like, that will, like, completely bounce an enemy out of the arena, and once they're bounced out of the arena, they're dead. So, uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. Like, even if you're not doing a whole lot of damage to an enemy with a lot of HP, if you can, like, push him out of the arena, um, he that takes care of him pretty handily in, in like, one hit. Um, th- there are, obviously, o- other effects, um, but... The weapons that I used, uh, the coolest one was the one that I got from a puzzle uh, room. Uh, it was a blue room with blue coins, and you had to like time it uh, perfectly in order to get it. And once you finish that puzzle room, you get a chest, and that chest was a weapon. That weapon was very cool. So um, you, we, we, not you, we had the ability to uh, purchase maybe five different weapons for like each character. Like we had like okay. f- five main weapons and like five melee weapons that we could have unlocked. Um, we didn't have enough money to unlock everything, so I didn't, like, unlock everything. But the ones that I did, like, mess around with, like, th- th- there's definitely enough there. Um, honestly, though, like, the main difference in a lot of these weapons is A, aesthetic, and B, th- the amount of damage it does. So, like, if, if I have a weapon that's doing, like, 100 damage, and this new weapon does 120 damage, obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade, but... Maybe that uh, weaker weapon has, like, the uh, an effect that the other one doesn't have. So you have to make, like, small choices like that. Like, it, it, it's small RPG element. It's nothing, like, crazy deep. But th- there is enough of it there to, um, I think, like, appease fans. Did yeah, you think- see much of the, the skill trees themselves? Yeah, well, I saw. Yeah, I, I saw most. Okay. I saw most. And of the that that stuff is still in, in line with the weapons and like cool additions and, and nice to give you some flexibility, but nothing too crazy. No, um, just you know, a couple of examples, right? You can do more than one team jump in in, in a turn, or you can like team jump off uh, both characters, things like that. Uh, you can okay. do like two you, that that slide kick when when you like move into an enemy. Um, if you if you do that and there's like a path to take you to a different enemy, you can do like two slide kicks. Um, Mario has his hero sight that he'll shoot uh, two uh, enemies instead of the one uh, when when they like jump mm. out of cover, things like that. So like okay. they're like small incremental things, and uh, we had like the full skill tree unlocked. Like so, you know, you're gonna progressively gain all this throughout the game. You're not gonna feel overpowered at any given point. Um, well, I like that. I like that it is expanding your move set rather than just like, oh, five percent more damage, you know, two percent more this. Yeah, that's good. Uh, well, and, and I think if you're a fan of Mario, like 
the skins of the the weapons and how they look is so cool and how like there's like a chain jump with like a gatling gun coming out of its mouth or like a rubber ducky that looks like yoshi and like tons of just if you or if you're a fan of mario and that kind of lore then i feel like you're gonna want to collect the weapons just so you can like look at them all because they are they put so much like effort into making them not look like oh this is a, a glock or something that you're holding like this yeah. is a very well themed well put together well thought out mario type weapon in this crazy world I mean, what, what, I, point. what I like about the weapons is that, yeah, you can, like, buy them, like, w when they're available to you, but, you know, you find them in the world, like, doing puzzles and things. So, like, they're, they're rewards for doing things in the game that are fun. Like, doing that puzzle was genuinely fun, and out of it, I got a new weapon. Like, to me, that's cool. Like, you don't just, like, find a yeah. random weapon. You're not picking up weapons from enemies. Like, stuff like that isn't happening. Um, and like Jake was saying, like, these weapons do have, like, charm to, the, to them. Like, some of them are, like, cool little... Uh, Easter eggs like the, like the chain chomp thing. Um, speaking of though, like a lot of collectibles in the game. That's the other thing. Like uh, I, I, I was finding them not left and right, but oh my god, close. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to collect, um, which was a little surprising. You have like music. You have uh, like little statues um, that you can collect. There, there's all types of stuff. Um, Interesting. Uh, aside of the weapons and everything else, so exploring is is definitely. Uh, important and it's uh, encouraged uh, that's one of the main pillars for them as far as the gameplay goes the exploration of of the world when you're not in battle just like looking through like every nook and cranny like finding uh cannons that'll like shoot you to pu puzzle rooms or like unlocking certain doors that that will give you cool new stuff so um that's another way where uh, like the gameplay time will be padded is if you like look for all of these things and that ties into that hub world that you were telling us about that i don't believe we saw anything of the sort at E3. Yeah, and unfortunately we still can't show you the footage, but uh, yeah, there, there, there's a hub world that uh, has uh, like a trophy room where you can go see all these collectibles and that you can go do the Battle HQ thing. I mean, you can do Battle HQ before battles at any time, really, but um, yeah, the, the, there is a, a small hub world that I didn't know about until this event, so uh, look forward to that as well. Uh, it's a very cool themed hub world, I'll say that. Um, but sounds Sounds super good. It sounds like you know, they unveiled at E3, and it sounds like they have really fleshed out based on what you got to play and see. Um, I think, you know, this is the big game for August, and even though it's not a Nintendo game, it seems like it's, it feels to me like it's kind of earning that caliber of like, okay, it's not made by Nintendo, but it's, it's up there in terms of what it's putting together and the package it's bringing to Switch. Yes, the Nintendo influence is definitely felt here. Like, if I was playing this game and you didn't tell me it was a Ubisoft game, I would believe it's Nintendo. Like, the gameplay is, like, hmm. the gameplay is, like, on point, man. Like, N Nintendo is known for, like, their great gameplay, and, I mean, it's hard to mess up a strategy game, like, as far as gameplay goes. Like, it's true right. base. But, you know, what is here, I, I really like. The, the one, like, just, I'm nitpicking. Um, and obviously, I haven't played the full game, so maybe maybe there's other things like I don't like the font that that like <laughs> <laughs> that when when there's like dialogue, I don't like the font that they use. Like it kind of bothers okay. me. Like it looks like very like cheap. It look I don't know. I don't. It's like how, how do you feel about visuals? I mean, it looked really good, man. The, the game looks great to me. I, I, okay. Um, I played it just on the TV though. You know, n nothing handheld, so I I, I can't gotcha. speak, I can't speak to that at all. Well, I did notice, you know, at E3 that the like the models, the characters are not as crisp as say Mario Odyssey, like nowhere near as crisp. But yeah, it still overall does have a good look and feel. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy and I'm excited for it. Um, just one month away now at this point. Um, so, less than. Yeah, basically, uh, l less than one month, uh, around a month exactly, a month, 29 days, whatever. Um, so th this is one that like I I'm truly truly excited for and that's surprising me because like Jake I don't really like the rabbits a whole lot either I have no affinity for them I've I don't find them as annoying as as, as everyone else does but like I don't care about the rabbits and I care about them for this game the, the, this game it, it's really surprising how much I like it I I'm into it a lot well what I I'm hoping for is I talked about this in anything comment for us is that if this game does well, it'll show other third-party companies that maybe they can take, and Nintendo, that maybe they can take more risks with the Nintendo IP and those characters that they've developed over the past 20-plus years and loan them out to other companies to make more Nintendo games for the Switch because Nintendo can't make every game under the sun for, for every character they, they've created, plus new IPs like ARMS and stuff like that. So maybe if this does well, this will be a, a trendsetter for other companies to, like I said, borrow Nintendo characters and Nintendo worlds and make their own games so the Switch can't have a more full lineup through its lifespan. 
Yeah. Yeah. Give us that Wario Waluigi game. Lend those fools out and get some uh, something cracking with them. I think it's going to be exciting to see, and I, I hope it's well received. You know, I hope that the final product pans out as well as it sounds like this preview. Um, has has left you feeling so let us know if you have any other questions about Mario plus Rabbids Kingdoms Battle the game like we said comes out in just a couple of weeks now It seems like it's coming together very nicely Gabe was ecstatic after playing and Dobby Day was there wasn't he? Guy, yeah, I, I spoke to him. He remembered me um, I, I sp spoke to Dobby Day a couple of times. Dobby Day is a cool dude, man um, Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what else to say about Dobby Day other than he's really cool and he, he remembered me from E3 <laughs> That's awesome. So classy Davi Day, cool game, and just a short wait to get it. Until then, though, everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions, let us know, and let us know if you're pumped for Mario Plus Rabbids like we are in the comments down below. Thank you, Gabe, for adventuring to sniff out that burrow and bringing us back the goodies. Uh, what do the rabbits eat? Final question. They eat mushrooms in this Yikes. game. Yikes. I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> that that could lead to some dangerous situations. We'll have to see, though. In the meantime, for myself, Jake, and Gabe, thanks for watching. Switch Force out.